Hey guys, it's Mr. X Casper here, and uh, I'm doing a tutorial on how to do the ripple effect on the text, which you've seen in a couple of my backgrounds lately. Um, so let's get started. First of all, you want to come to the top bar, and it'll say MoGraph. You want to click that. Um, you want to click Mo Text, and if you've got some text, you want to just drag it into the middle. And let's change that. We'll just change that to Casp or capitals. Um. <clears throat> So once you've got that you just want to change the size of it. So I'll just move it like that. And then we will change the font. What I'm gonna do is I'll just change it to um I got a good font. Uh, if you want, if you want this font I'll leave a download link in the description, it's called Convoy and normally I'll put it to bold and italic. Uh well not bold and italic but um bold um, so yeah, what you want to do is you want to change the depth of your mo text. Normally, I'll change it to 65. Uh, if it doesn't look right, I'll go to the side. That looks fine to me. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll copy this. Um, control. If you're on a PC, Control C, Control V, uh, and then change this to about three, and then change the caps to fillet caps and change the radius of them to 3 and 3 or but normally I go with a 2 and 2 doesn't really matter um, either way and then what you want to do is you want to um, you want to have your materials in the bottom here uh, you want to click this like you want to make them obviously um, and then you want to change the color so I'm going to just do a nice nice light blue and uh, because this is going to take a while, just nice light blue. There we go. And then we'll just copy that and we'll place that onto the front. So now we have a blue, and then we'll have a nice grey on that one. Um. Then you want to drag this just uh, behind it a bit, and Control C, Control V, and then, con uh, then click on the Motex dot one and Motex to two, Control C, Control V, so you get another two of them. Um, normally you want to keep them in even space out, and then Control C, Control V again, so you, so you get that last one. Uh, so now you've got your text ready. Um, this is just how I set my text out. I think it's like it looks better like this. And you want to do the uh, ripple effect. So once you've got your text, you, you want to go to you want to create a random effector. So you want to go to MoGraph effector and random. So now you've got your random effector. You want to go to objects in the top left hand corner, and this will work if you've got um, R12. I don't know about R13, so I haven't got that. So just click objects, and then you want to create a null. Now you've got um, the things you need, which are the text, the random effector, and the null. You want to go to the random effector, uh, you want to go to the strength of it, and probably change it to about 1% just for now. Um, after that, you want to change the seed, which is here, to zero. Um, if yours is already at zero, then that's fine. Uh, after that, you want to go to the parameter, and you want to change the x, y, and z all to 30 centimeters. Oh. Um, then you want to go to deformer, change from it from it to change the deformer. And Formation from off to point. Uh, now you've got that. All you basically need to do is just cl um, click on the first text, hold down shift, go to the last text, and then drag it into the null. Uh, now it's in the null. All you have to do is drag the random effector and put it on top of the null. And as you can see, just then um, some ripple effect has just happened on the the text, like on the bends. That's where it mostly occurs. And if you want to make the um, the effect, uh, like the strength of it, um, a lot bigger, just come down here, change it from one percent, and 
it varies on how it will look so if you put it on a high one it will look all distorted and not look very nice but um, I like to keep mine between the 1% and 5% radius uh, sometimes I'll do about 7 and if the font is quite big I'll probably do about 10 um, but for this we're gonna go with uh, we'll go with 6% and now as you can see you've got this like ripple effect on this bit it doesn't look as nice but on the C's this looks really nice like on the backgrounds it look it'll come out real nice and also on the A and on the corners of the S so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, render it out and then um, you can see the final product and we're back guys um, so this is the final product, it took a while to render but this is the final product of the ripple effect um, I just want to say that all the credit goes to Louis Design who I found the ripple effect off um, his link will be in the description and on the and in an annotation on the screen right now. Um, I hope you guys like the tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial will be next week, and that'll be on uh, how to make your Ferrati text look really nice and clean. Um, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.